Today we are going to be taking a look at a very helpful tool that all web designers and developers should be familiar with. Now this tool is called Firebug and is an add-on for Firefox. Now don't worry, they also make a version for Chrome as well as other browsers. So to get started using Firebug, you can go ahead and just Google Firebug and then click the first link entitled getfirebug.com. So once you get to the Firebug site, go ahead and click the big red Install Firebug button, and then click the download link underneath the first heading. Now this link will take you to the Firefox add-ons library where you simply need to click Add to Firefox, and then go ahead and click to install the plugin. So since I already have Firebug installed, we can go ahead and jump right into its use. So after you have Firebug installed, you will see the bug icon in your toolbar. Go ahead and click on this to bring up the Firebug interface. Now by clicking the bug icon, you can choose settings about Firebug like if it will be inset into your window or if it will be a detached window. Now the real magic of this plugin comes when you click the blue pointer arrow and then hover over the page. You will immediately see each piece of the page. You can also hover over the code in the HTML tab to see the full area that that piece is taking on screen. Now tags are indicated by the blue overlay, purple shows the amount of padding that an element has, and yellow shows how much margin it has. Now after you click on an element, you can also see in the style menu on the right side of the page that you have all the CSS that is being applied to that current object you have clicked on. Now the beauty of Firebug is that you can turn these CSS properties off and manipulate them live in Firefox for troubleshooting without it actually affecting the website. So feel free to go ahead and click next to a property to turn it off or to click on a value and edit it. You can also select an element in your HTML view and just hit the delete button to delete it from the page. So now again, there is no need to worry because all of the changes you're making with Firebug are temporary. Simply refresh the page and you can set everything back to normal. So now I mentioned before that you can also get this plugin in Chrome. So in Google, go ahead and search for Firebug for Chrome and then go ahead and click the first link and then just install this through Chrome. Now the Chrome plugin works very similarly to the one in Firefox and you can get started by going ahead and selecting the HTML tag and then start inspecting elements by clicking the inspect button which is slightly hidden on my window. So if you do web design or development, go ahead and download this add-on if you aren't currently using it. You will definitely thank yourself later. So as always, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.